Welcome to our paper presentation. I'm going to show you how we use the CNN to detect hyperdense regions in brain CT scans in the scope of thrombectomy. Thrombectomy is a method for ischemic stroke treatment, thereby a catheter is inserted in the occluded artery to extract the thrombus. After thrombectomy, an unconscious CT is performed to control the treatment success. In many cases, hyperdense regions are found in the brain. These can be attributed to bleedings or contrast agent, which is leaked into the brain tissue. On the right, you can see a few examples from our dataset. The goal of our study was to develop a deep learning-based algorithm to detect these hyperdense regions. By a binary classification, the CT should be classified as positive or negative with respect to the presence of a hyperdensity. Our dataset consisted of 241 CT volumes. The two classes are relatively balanced. We used about 20% as test data. On the left, you can see a few slices of a CT scan before and after pre-processing. The pre-processing essentially consisted of skull stripping and windowing, and the latter turned out to be a decisive step for model performance, so we further optimized it. To optimize the window, we evaluated different thresholds in two iterations. The figures show the accuracy and F1 score based on the validation dataset. The thresholds were chosen based on the Hounsfield units of brain tissue and the hyperdensities. The best results were obtained by using a window of 30 to 90 Hounsfield units. We used a rather shallow 3D architecture that follows the typical structure of a CNN. It consists of five convolutional layers with an ascending number of filters, alternating with max pooling layers. A dense layer and two output neurons follow. The architecture and training parameters were optimized by performing a grid search. The model was trained using five-fold cross-validation. We evaluated all five models on the test dataset and aggregated their predictions by calculating the majority vote. The statistical evaluation and confusion matrix you can see here are based on this approach. The accuracy and the one score are both 84%. To conclude, in the study, a 3D CNN was used in a new medical context, the detection of hyperdensities after thrombectomy. We showed how to handle small, multidimensional datasets, and by that, we identified pre-processing as crucial and demonstrated how to take domain knowledge into account to optimize the step. We assume that the reduction of the input information by skull stripping and windowing forced the model to focus on relevant features and thus led to a performance improvement. Thank you for your interest.